It's trendy lately to mock people who respond to tragedy with prayers. Like, when has prayer done anything? Obviously, the much more rational and effective option is to grab your smartphone and sign a petition. But I've got bad news for you. A lot of the time, your petition signing is often just a pointless exercise to make yourself feel good. Every freaking day, the Canadian House of Commons is barraged by petitions. They are tabled, briefly mentioned, and then never spoken of again. Change.org, the central repository for thousands of doomed petitions, maintains a list of alleged victories. But I'm going to call a lot of these claims a bit hinky. For instance, the website claims that it was behind the freeing of Canadian pastor Hyun Sun Lim from a North Korean jail. Here's a guess that it took a bit more than a petition to do that. Here's the thing, change.org has a petition for literally everything. So it's almost as if whenever anything happens anywhere, they dig up the relevant petition and claim that it was the signatures, the signatures that brought these miracles upon us. One problem with petitions is that even a major petition represents an incredibly small proportion of an overall electorate. Last year, for instance, more than one million Britons signed a petition calling for Donald Trump's state visit to the UK to be banned but 32 million people voted in the last UK general election. It wouldn't be tremendously wise or democratic if the British government started making major foreign policy decisions just because 3% of the electorate signed something. Then there are petitions that attempt to influence corporate behavior. Companies will occasionally take up a petition cause, but they're still businesses. They're not going to do anything unless it's also a smart marketing decision. Take Starbucks. Petitions were partially behind the company's announcement earlier this year that they planned to ban plastic straws. But Starbucks did it knowing they would instantly earn themselves millions of dollars in free publicity. Meanwhile, here's some other petitions that major corporations have been all too happy to ignore. Tim Hortons being asked not to reduce employee benefits. Heinz being asked to stop using plastic containers. Starbucks giving paid paternity leave to employees. So let's review. Unless a petition represents an issue that a politician can realistically take up to score votes, or that a company can use to score more money, it's probably not going to do anything. I'm looking at you, petitions to build a Death Star or get Justin Trudeau to resign.